Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, January 29, 2020. Here is the second update today on the bottom work we are doing on our 1947 Chris Craft U-22. We're looking at the starboard face of the bottom. We've pulled all of the longitudinal exterior planking out and off and it's really good that we've done so because I'm not going to go try to dig through the pile but in this area here we found three different planks that were quite severely rotted lots of dry rot they actually fell apart when we took them off uh, which tells us that the crash into the bottom may have in fact saved this family from experiencing a breakthrough at some point. Uh, the plank that landed right here, the one that's just uh, above the chine, simply f fell apart. We backed the screws out and what we had in our hands was a, a bunch of powder. We could have had a through and through hole there and not too far into the future. But I remember back now, and the old adage, be careful what you wish for. Uh, I was wishing that the bilge was grease free. Uh, such is not the case. It is really a good thing. And this is very instructional. Uh, to all of us. This is a 1940 boat, 47 boat, with an original bottom, and it's just not surprising that over the years, grease, dirt, grime, water, you name it, has worked its way into the bilge, and totally soaked the components. This is one of the interior frames. We call them uh, bottom battens. The screws go through the longitudinal planks and into this. The, these act as stiffeners in these bays. Um, it is just soaked with oil and grime and you name it, um, we will not attempt to reuse these. These must be replaced. The good news is that save for one frame on this side, this one right here that has a split in it, all of the frames are intact and in wonderful shape. Uh, we will fix this by reattaching it to the chine frame and running a carriage bolt through the frame and squeezing it tight after we've uh, filled the opening with uh, a tight bond glue and probably putting a sister beside it. As we go back, the other piece of good news and this is a response to you, Charlie. The uh, build stringers were not hurt, are not damaged. Uh, what would you guess the build stringers are? Are they oak? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're oak. Yeah, the build stringers are oak. They're solid. They show no sign of deterioration. The frames are mahogany. The keel is white oak. But now you can see that we're getting very close to being able to work in this area. Uh, Joe had started working taking this chine plank off and we're blessed in a way because right there, I believe you can pick up, I want to point at it Joe, right there, there's a joint. So we are not going to touch the rest of the, of the chine plank. We'll, we'll strip it of course, but we, there's no point in taking it off. Um, and then 
now we have access to this plank and as soon as this section of the of the chine plank is re released we'll be able to release this frame as well we have to do the same on the other side uh, there goes the batten uh, in the transom now that we've got things really opened up the only way we can really handle this center brace and replacing it is by re releasing the next two planks we will take them off but in a sense given what we've seen elsewhere that's good news because she's never been apart and it's time to t take these take these planks off these are very special planks these are 70 plus year old transom planks and we'll be able to clean them on the inside and you know the drill flood it with flood it with flood it with CPES on the outside after we bleach stain and stained it of course so we'll now go over to the uh, starboard side and I received a couple of emails asking me to clarify what I meant by canvas well maybe we can this is what we mean by canvas we get a couple of the tools out of the way it just comes off and rips up and it still has some residue of whatever the goop was um, these planks back here are fine I was challenged by a couple of you about this morning's video saying oh, there's no oil on those planks there can't be oil on those planks now well, guys take a look what's this gloss what's this sheen it runs all along here every one of these is soaked in oil from about here up to the up to the keel so we will be removing them and there Joe will show you just how easy or how difficult it is to pull these guys off of course Murphy's law is that he finds one that's really still adhered but it comes out pretty easy yeah we still got to take this plank off yeah but having just pulled that apart you can see that this guy is totally shot as well. Um, I understand Chris Craft's problem. In our dreams, the keel would pass over the top of these planks and we could run a single plank all the way across, but that's just, there's no clearance uh, to do that, even once we repair this. Um, so we'll, we'll put them back in new new blocks of course uh, the way Chris Craft did but I'm thinking we also want to run a couple of fasteners this way and that will stabilize these guys because they're just they're be, they're there being held by hope and a prayer at this point um, so by the end of the day today she'll be naked as Benny Hill used to say I hope there's some Benny Hill fans in the audience in the community um, funny man uh, well once we've done that get the chine planks off then tomorrow we'll be able to remove this frame and that frame uh, as well this is a two-piece frame but it's all broken in between um, so we'll keep working and soon we'll be able to start the arduous job of cleaning all of this 70 years worth of dirt and grease and grime off these frames. That's our update number two on January 29, 
2020. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.